Today I will speak about one of uh, one of the greatest progressive metal bands of all time, and I'm speaking about Dream Theater. Together with Fate's Warning and together with Queen's Reich, they are the big three of American, let's say, of American progressive metal. Of course, I have to say that I like very much Chicotic Volts. Together with them. So, uh, in any case. Dream Theater started in 1985 under the name Majesty, uh, for, and, the, uh, and the leaders of the band were John Petrucci, John Myung, and of course Mike Portnoy, one of the best uh, drummers of uh, metal uh, until now. Uh, they met in Berkeley College of Music in Boston, and... Um, Let's say that uh, they had to, to change their name from Majesty because there was a band from Las Vegas with the same name. So they changed the name to Dream Theater. The idea uh, came from the father of Mike Portnoy. Uh, and he took the name from a small theater, small old theater by the name Dream Theater in Cal uh, California. In the beginning, the band played the uh, covers of Russ and of Iron Maiden in uh, Berkeley College. Uh, the first thing, uh, when, uh, when they, 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 went, they, they went to make the band and uh, uh, they, they wanted to have uh, singers, so um, when they, in the, in the first, first, first period of the band, John Art, Ark from Fades Warning, ex Fades Warning, in these uh, days, Art, uh, he, uh, he tried to, uh, uh, to be the singer. Afterwards, uh, Steve Stone became the singer for some only concerts. And afterwards, uh, they brought another singer by the name Charlie uh, Dominici. And he was also the singer of the first album. In 1991, the singer of the band became James Labrie. He was the singer before of the glam metal band Winter Rose. Now, also I have to say, of course, Mike Portnoy, he's Jewish. In any case, we have to, to when we speak about Dream Theater, we have to speak about Dream Theater before, in the period, let's say the period of Mike Portnoy and the period after Mike Portnoy. Mike Potnoy left the band <coughs> in uh, the beginning of September of uh, 2010. And then he also became the, the drummer of Avengers Sevenfold. He played in the album Nightmare of Avengers Sevenfold, but until now he continues to play to, to many projects, uh, to many bands from here and there. And in his place uh, uh, as drummer of Dream Theater became Mike Magnini. Now, uh, also in um, in the keyboards, the begin uh, in the beginning was Kevin Moore. He played for the three for uh, th for the three uh, first albums of the band. Uh, afterwards, uh, in the keyboards came Derek Serinian for one album, and afterwards Jordan Rodes in 1999. Until now, uh, they made uh, 14 studio albums at one EP, and they say that maybe in beside 2021, 20, they will make another uh, album, studio album. But until now, I will try to rank their albums from worst to best, in my uh, opinion. So let's start. In And here we'll speak about the four, 14 uh, studio albums of them and together with uh, the EP of them, A Change of Seasons. So, in the, in the 15th place, I will put their 13th album of 2016, The Astonishing. This is a concept album, but a fo and uh, double con con concept album, but unfortunately, it's so boring. Unfortunately. In the next place, 14th place, the eighth album of them of 2005 by the same by the name Octavarium. Uh, many people they don't like this album, uh, but I can say that uh, okay, it's, it, it is a, an okay album 
for me. Thirteen Plays, their last album with Mike Portnoy, Black Clouds and Silver Leanings uh, of 2009, their tenth album. Okay, also an okay album, and I know that many people also they, they don't like this album. Here we can find some also black metal influences from here and there, something very strange for the theater. Ah, another thing also, the, the logo of, of the band of Dream Theater is from the old days of Majesty, when the name of the band was Majesty. Now, 11th place, uh, their last album of 2019, their 14th album until uh, now, Uh, distance over time. Also, I prefer it a, a lot from the Astonishing, of course. Something uh, special in this album, they have many, many songs with, uh, no, 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 uh, with short period, but also a nice album. Next place I will put their debut album, their first album of 1989, by the name When Dream and They Unite. Uh, here Charlie, Charlie Dominic was a singer. And this is Dream Theater, not by the way that we know them uh, from the second album and afterwards. Here we can find some also thrust influences in their music. Okay, now uh, in the eighth, in the uh, tenth place, their eleven album of them of 2011, a dramatic turn of events, and also this is an important album because it's the first album after Mike Portnoy left the band, and uh, and and uh, Mike Magarini became the drummer of the band. Also a great, great album, uh, like it writes here, Dream Theater Return, strong than ever. But even more, I like the album after it, and I'm speaking about the, uh, in the ninth place, I will put the 12th album of them of 2013 by the name Dream Theater. Great, great, great album. Now, in the eighth place, another album that many people don't like it, but I like it, the ninth album of them of 2007, Systematic Chaos. And also, I like it very, very much. Seventh place, maybe the most strong, frassy album of Dream Theater until now. Uh, the seventh album of 2003, Strain of Thought. Here we can find many, many, uh, I, can I can find uh, a lot influences of Metallica in this uh, album. In the, in the sixth place, the sixth album of uh, 2002, Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence. Also a, a double album, very progressive and very, very good. Now, five, fifth place, also another album that it was uh, an album that many people don't like it uh, until now, but uh, I like it very much. And I'm speaking about the fourth album of them of uh, 1997 failing into infinity. Now, in the fourth place, I will put here the EP, A Change of Seasons uh, of 1995. And for me, this is the, uh, the, this is the continuous of Awake. In the third place, here I will put an album that many people prefer it as the best Dream Theater album, and I understand it. 
I'm speak about their fifth album of 1999, Metropolis Part 2, Scenes from a Memory. Also a concept album with a great cover art. And yes, I know many people prefer it in the first place. But in any case, in the second place, their third album of 1994, Awake. And yes, I put this here because for me, this is the first Dream Theater album that I listened to it. From this album, I started to listen to Dream Theater, so it's very close to my heart. And uh, let's say that uh, the last song, Space Divest, is one of the best balance of metal in all ages. But in the first place, of course, for me, comes their second album of 1992. And of course, I'm speaking about images and words. This great, great, great album with, with a great cover art and very great songs, Pull Me Under Another Day, Surrounded, Metropolis Part 1, of course, of course, and Wait for Sleep. Every song here is great. This is for me the top of the top of Dream Theater, one of the best progressive metal albums of all time. So, from Israel and from Jerusalem, stay metal and stay heavy.